Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing day of fishing. Today, we're out at the Jetties Surfside to be exact. Use Google Maps because I get a lot of questions. Hey, how do you get to those jetties? Google Maps, Surfside Jetty in Freeport, Texas. The conditions, I couldn't be more pleased with them. We have a slight south-southeast wind coming in at about five miles an hour. It's gonna get to about nine later on, so the conditions are perfect. I've already seen people catching speckled trout. We're gonna rig up with the slip cork and get to fishing. There we go. Fishing a depth of about 10 feet is what we'll start off with, and then we'll start trying to find where the uh, sweet spot is. See, it's trying to go under, but that's another small fish. But that trout will hit it hard enough, that, just like that. First good trout of the day. I was just talking about how it's going down, but it's not doing that good. First trout of the day, not bad. Probably a little 13, 14 incher. Ooh, ooh, big one. I got a fat one. That is a nice size keeper, son. Look at good that, job. boys. How did he hit? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> it went down fast? Yeah. I mean, it was the initial hit. I was like, okay, okay. And then he took it and swam straight down. I was like, this is like Jack-esque, you know? They're really nice conditions today. There we are. We got one. That's a nice little speck right there. Respectable. Any lighter line, and then he would have uh, definitely snap the line we're using some heavy stuff people that's a good 14 close to 15 inches i'm gonna say 14 and some change we're gonna get the boga i mean the, the boga the hog trough out and i'm just curious to see if i'm guessing right on their size oh i'm i'm really close no 15 inches i was saying 14 this guy's a keeper right on the button Beautiful keeper speckled trout fishing 10 feet down. And it's been a slow bite, but it's steady. So it's not like you're waiting 30 minutes in between bites. They're coming and it's just been a super enjoyable day. I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on here in a second. I wanna throw a huge shout out to Costa Del Mar Sunglasses for hooking the channel up with these brand new tuna alleys. They've been watching the channel for quite some time and reached out to me, said, hey, you ready for a new pair? I said, heck yeah. This is by no means a paid advertisement, just showing some love for those people out there that have shown interest in the channel. Thank y'all so much. If you want a good pair of sunglasses, these are it. The other tuna alleys have now went to my son. Perfect for inshore fishing. Jetties, I consider that inshore. Marsh, they're really great. These are the 580G lenses, so top quality stuff scratch resistance it's awesome thank you Costa Del Mar oh there we go well that was a hard hit oh we got him missed him no wait I think we got him little bitty speck this fellow's still got a lot of growing to do nice hook set right in the corner of the mouth let's get this guy back inside the water we're gonna live to fight another day. There he goes. Oh! Wow, I just brought it in and, and he nailed it. That's a good one. Oh! <laughs> that was a really good one right there. Yep, I caught it. Let's go. It's flopping so crazy. Grab him by the body. Oh my god, he's so big. That is a big pig, son. Let's go, boys. <laughs> 17, 17 inch pig. Let's go, boys. It's a nice fat pig right there. I'm fishing the full length of my leader, which is about 13 feet now. It was 14. 
13, 14, somewhere around there. So we're probably fishing anywhere from 12 to 11 feet because I retied on my leader. And Christian was saying that he doesn't think his shrimp was going down. So he put two quarter ounce split shots. We were using just one. Now he put two and immediately he hooks up to a nice fat slob, the 17 incher. So I did the same thing. Man, that's crazy. I didn't think this cork could hold up two quarter ounce split shots, a half ounce total. Oh, oh, wow. Christian just got tagged again. Yep. <laughs> Everything but the head. Wow, he just cast back out there. He's putting on a clinic. I'm getting kind of jealous. Oh, wow. Man, you see, I like took you took my eye off just for a second. Hey, mangrove snapper. Not bad. It's the first time that I've caught one of these on live shrimp. It's a pretty cool looking colors. Like those colors are really awesome. All right, back to the water you go, buddy. Keep crushing it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Christian, something got him. Holy cow, look at that. Zombie trout, crazy. He's not gonna make it. I swear we pulled him in like that. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be. Oh my God. Goodness gracious. Oh my God. This dude, I thought it was a ladyfish, but the guy went airborne. Let's see how big he is really fast. That's a good 18 incher right there. <laughs> you know that guy's going on ice. Yeah, we thought it was honestly a ladyfish because on the initial hit, he went airborne just the way one would act. And then that second jump, when I got to see it, I was, whoa, he's got some spots. The bite has definitely turned back on maybe it never even turned off we just had to get our line down there and check that out two quarter ounce split shots a seven inch float and it's holding the split shot plus our like maybe two to three inch shrimp up in the zone and the bite is just completely turned back on for us dang it i missed him Uh oh, you got him? I'm gonna slow down so you can get the camera. Here. Really? You're gonna break my rod. Reel all the way in and then bring it over. Nice, son. Thank you. Finally. Careful, dude. careful with that hook in the bag. Oh, wow, he came undone. How many keepers is that for the day? Five or six. Six of them or so? Here, let's get a photo. Got him? Came off. Oh no, you got him. <laughs> he wasn't big enough anyway. That was a quick release. All right, I'm ready. All right, well, oh, there we go, there we go. Oh God, this one's a good one. He's got some weight. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got some weight. Unless he's foul hooked, he's got some serious weight on him <laughs> I knew he was gonna be big once he uh, came up that is a fat girl right there honey you've been eating right <laughs> she needs to go to the gym look at this everybody that is a good one huh son <laughs> Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. I knew immediately. Once she hit, That's I was perfect. like, this one's gonna be a it's good one right here. 18 and a half right there. 18 and three quarters if I was a pinch tail. Beautiful fish. And I think that's it, everybody. We're gonna end it with this one right here. It's getting hot gonna give our shrimp away and this one's going in the cooler 
Whew, it has been a long time since this bite has been good like this. The water is clean and the fish are definitely biting. The key is to get it down there. The slip cork worked like a champ. We were able to switch from, I think we started at about eight. Then we went to nine. Then we went to 10, 12. Then I just put it to the maximum depth, which we're about 14 feet right now and catching these big fat gluttons. everyone that's gonna do it for the day if you enjoyed the video do me a favor click that thumbs up button and until next time tight lines y'all